Here are three key factors that are affecting home affordability. Over the past year, a lot of people have been talking about home affordability and how tight it's got. But just recently, there's been a little bit of relief on that front. Mortgage rates have gone down since their most recent peak in October. But there's more to being able to afford a home than just mortgage rates. So let's talk about the three factors that are affecting home affordability. Number one, mortgage rates. Mortgage rates have come down in recent months. And looking forward, most experts expect them to decline as we progress through the year. An economist at Realtor.com explains while there could be some fluctuations in the path forward, the general expectation is that mortgage rates will continue to trend downwards as long as the economy continues to see progress on inflation. Factor number two, home prices. After going up at a relatively normal pace last year, home prices are expected to continue increasing moderately throughout 2024. That's because even with inventory projected to grow slightly this year, there still aren't enough homes for sale for the people that want to buy them. According to Lisa Sturdivant, chief economist at Bright MLS, more inventory will be generally offset by more buyers in the market. As a result, it is expected that overall, the medium home price in the US will grow modestly. That's great news for you because that means home prices aren't likely to skyrocket the way they did during COVID. But it also means it might cost you more to wait. So if you're ready, willing, and able to buy, purchasing before more buyers into the market might be in your best interest. And finally, factor number three, wages. Higher wages improve affordability because they reduce the percentage of your paycheck that it takes to pay your monthly mortgage. Another positive factor in affordability right now is rising income. This graph uses data from the Federal Reserve to show how wages have grown over time. If you look at the blue dotted trend line, you can see the rate at which wages typically rise. But on the right side of the graph, wages are above the trend line today, meaning they're going to go up at a higher rate than normal. Higher wages improve affordability because they reduce the percentage of your income it takes to pay your mortgage. That's because you don't have to put as much of your paycheck towards your monthly housing costs. What does this mean for you? Home affordability depends on three things. Mortgage rates, home prices, and wages. The good news is they are moving in a positive direction for buyers overall. Bottom line here, if you're thinking about buying a home, it's important to know these things. So, if you're thinking about buying a home here at Lake of the Ozarks and you are looking for just a little guidance or have some questions, feel free to reach out to me. I would love the opportunity to help. You can find all of my contact information in the description box of this video. Please feel free, reach out to me. I would love to help. And uh, that's all I got for you today. So. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next one. Have a great day.